Hi, it's Richard RJ Coins, and welcome to a very, very special edition of my great Aussie coin hunt series. So today, I put together a fantastic collection through some great trades and purchases, etc., uh, of uh, the majority of all the circulating Australian commemorative coins, including the wonderful $2 coloured coins lucky enough to have so so many of them all in place so this is a selection of them all there presented in their flips nicely kept including the 2012 Gold Poppy but did you notice what was missing? So what $2 coin does everyone want for their Aussie coin collection? I think there's only one answer and that's what I have managed to pick up for myself this week. So as we can see, it is the less we forget $2 red poppy given originally for a $10 donation in 2012. It's the first colored $2 coin that was produced in Australia. And the red poppy, the coloured version, just half a million minted. Uh, the, the gold one, which is, is raised, and that's how you distinguish it from the coloured red poppy. The, the middle there is raised. The actual poppy design, uh, designed by Aaron Baggio. And I am absolutely chuffed a bit to have been able to secure this and add it to my collection. Let's have a real close look at this. Oh, keep it still. So it's released on the 20th of June 1988, the, the uh, $2 coin. And as I say, this in 2012 was the first colored produced. 92% copper, 6% aluminium, 2% nickel, it weighs 6.6 .6 grams and it's 20.5 millimetres in diameter. The charity that uh, the funds were for, it's Return and Services League, so it's a charity founded in June of 1916, uh, there are 520 licensed clubs, according to my research, across Australia, and there's over 30,000 members to the clubs. Uh, the biggest one, apparently, and you'll have to put me right if you think this is wrong, is in Rooty Hill in New South Wales. Blame Google, not me, if that one's wrong. So some affinity to the clubs, not necessarily RSLs directly, but uh, when my parents lived in Australia back in the 60s for three years, my dad did uh, work in the Army and Navy Club at Riverwood, as well as at the Canterbury Bankstown Rugby Club. So though he didn't work directly in the RSLs there, uh, he has experience of similar clubs in Australia when he lived there. Truly iconic, the poppy, of course, for remembrance all around the world. And this is an absolute stunner. And I've actually surprised myself being having to even uh, do the commentary on this because uh, I was a bit lost for words when it arrived. I took the plunge to, uh, to order it and buy it. Because it's quite a big uh, commitment in many ways. It's the Australian equivalent, for anybody watching the UK, of RQ Gardens say half a million minted, so extremely low mintage. And 
and the, the holy grail of an Australian coin collector's collection. And also this UK coin collector's Australian collection. So I hope you do like that. That is really a stunning coin. Absolutely chuffed to bits with the condition of that one as well. And so, so pleased to be able to add it to my collection. If you like what you've seen here, then do hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed, it'd be much appreciated to hit that icon, ring the bell, get your notifications of uh, any future uploads. Check out the rest of my Great Australian Coin Hunt series. I think this is part 31. So it's quite extensive, as well as some of the other hunts and other content that I've got from my UK coins. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon.